Breaking news on 41 Action News at 6. Firefighters work at putting out the hot spots at a Comfort Inn at Blue Springs. The temperature there right now, 103. Now Mitch Weber is there live with an update. Hi, Mitch. Hey guys, yeah, and we are definitely feeling how hot it is and also the heat that's coming off of the Comfort Inn and Suites. Now both ladders. At 5 o'clock, there was only one ladder that was working to put this fire out. Now we have two ladders that are putting the fire out. And as you can see, there are two hoses on each one of the ladders. There have been hot spots that have been popping up in the last hour. Now fire investigators still can't even get close to getting inside to finding out what a cause is uh, that started this fire. We don't know. As you're seeing right there, that, that is the, the Comfort Inn sign where the latest hot spot just popped up again just a few minutes ago, right before we uh, we came, we got on air. Uh, the Central Jackson Fire Department assistant chief told me when crews arrived, there were flames showing on the outside wall of the building, which moved to the attic. Comfort Inn staff members and residents helped evacuate everyone inside. 19 rooms were occupied at the time. Central Jackson Fire Department, the independent Fire Department and Lee Summit are all helping put out this massive fire. The good news, the assistant fire chief from the Central Jackson uh, Fire Department tells me there is plenty of water to put out the fire and keep crews safe. Some of our office staff brought out coolers full of water and Gatorade and they're taking care of the guys. We're rotating them pretty regularly, regularly and giving them as much water and fluids as we can. Once we got underneath I-70 coming this way, I could see the flames then still. And I thought, man, that's a big fire. The Independence Fire Department, like I said, is also assisting. They're putting water on the grass behind the Comfort Inn and Suites since everything around here is so dry, including that grass. Uh, back out here live, you are seeing the ladder trucks uh, continue to try and put out the hot spots. They keep popping up. The roof has completely collapsed. Again, fire crews and uh, investigators cannot get inside to find out what exactly caused this fire, but the fire assistant fire chief tells me he hopes to have some kind of cause, hopefully by the end of this evening. Now, for the res now as for the residents that were actually staying here, they have now been moved to the Grain Valley Comfort Inn and Suites where they are staying right now. And of course, we'll keep you updated both on air and online at KSHB.com. Live in Blue Springs, Mitch Weber, 41 Action News.